Hello again, everyone. In this session, we're going to be discussing the Easy Print Driver. Easy Print technology was first introduced in Windows Server 2008 as an alternative to having the redirected printer driver installed on the remote desktop server. Let us take a look at our scenario. We have a remote desktop server to the top left, and we have a user who is connected to the local printer. And what we want here is for the user to be able to print locally. Now the user is connected to the remote desktop server using a remote desktop server session. That means that the user software is installed on the remote server and the user is using that software remotely. But again, the user needs to print to the printer that is locally connected to that user's computer. Now before Easy Printer, you needed to have the same printer driver that you had on the local printer installed on the remote desktop server. And that became a problem. That became cumbersome because if I had 10 different printers, it would mean that for each printer, I would have to have that exact same printer driver for the printer installed on the remote desktop, desktop server. So you see, after a while, I would have many different printer drivers on the remote desktop server. Microsoft to the rescue. Microsoft gave us the Easy Print Driver technology. With the Easy Print Driver technology, we have the Easy Print Driver being installed on the server. When you install remote desktop services by default, that easy printer driver is installed. And you can see it here, Microsoft XPS Document Writer. And this printer supports a variety of printer models. So the user's printer driver then is going to be mapped to the easy printer driver on the remote desktop server. In that way, we did not we then would not have to install a variety of drivers on the server because the user's printer is going to be redirected to that easy print driver on the remote desktop server. And that was a very good thing because then we did not have as many problems as we had before with having all of these drivers installed on the remote desktop server. To use the Easy Printer on the server side, we have to use group policy. So on the server side, you actually have to go up, go into group policy and set a group policy allowing easy print driver to be used. So we're going to take a look to see how we configure those group policy settings for easy print driver. We want to access group policy by clicking on tools. Group Policy Management. We want to expand Contoso. Then we want to group to right click here on Group Policy Objects and click on New. We want to call the Group Policy Easy Print driver GPO 
And let's make a correction here. Then we want to press enter. At the new, new GPO box, we want to click on OK. Then we want to find that group policy. And we expand group policy objects. And there it is, Easy Print Driver GPO. We want to right click that policy and edit. We're now going to go to Computer Configuration policies, administrative templates, windows components, and we want to look for remote desktop services. Now we want to click on remote desktop session host. And we want to click on printer redirection. The policy that we want is use remote desktop easy printer, easy print printer driver first. So we're going to double click on that and open the policy. We want to click on enabled. And let's take a look at the description. It says this policy setting allows you to specify whether the remote desktop easy print printer driver is used first to install all client printers. If you enable or do not configure this policy setting, the RD session host server first tries to use the remote desktop easy print printer driver to install all client printers. If, for any reason, the remote desktop easy print printer driver cannot be used, a printer driver on the RD session host server that matches the client printer is used. So if the RD session host server does not have a printer driver that matches the client printer, then that client printer is not available for the remote desktop session host. So we see here that we need one or two things. You need to have that easy print driver available to your client machine, or you need to have the same printer driver that you have on your printer installed on the remote desktop server. And we saw how cumbersome that could be. So using the easy print driver is your best option here. And remember, we configure the easy print driver on the server side using group policy only. We're going to click apply here and OK. Then we want to close, clicking on the X here. The next thing we want to do is we want to go and look to see how we will set up easy print settings for the client. And this is there by default. But we still need to go and look at it in case it's turned off and we need to turn it on. So here I have the remote desktop connection on my taskbar. So I'm going to click on the remote desktop connection. Then I'm going to click on show options. And I want to click on local resources. And this is what I want here. There's a tick by printer, so that's there by default. So once that is there, the client will be able to use the easy print driver. Let's just take off the tick, just to show you, and put it back on. So that is the setting right there, local devices and resources. 
that tick must be on by printers so that the client will be able to use that easy print driver. I'm going to close the remote desktop box. And I want to thank you for listening. This is the end of this session.